All right, my boy Joe. What's that word, buddy? Right back, here. man, for sure. Um, man, where you been at, bro? Shit, I been busting booze, man. You know, hustling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll hustling like a motherfucker, grinding. I done opened up me a smoke shop, you know what I mean? Yeah, I we gonna did. get to that, we gonna get to that, we gonna get to that. But first, you had a name change. You was LBM Lil Joe at first, and then you had, a, you had changed your name, so just explain the name change and the difference between the two, if it is one. I was to say, see, LBM Lil Joe, he was a bad motherfucker, see? He invented slap music, you know what I mean? Start to slap it out movement, you feel me? But you know, I grind and I work hard with that name for a long time. I accomplished a lot with that, you know what I mean? And I feel like through the process of me, you know, I got my own studio and shit and I started recording and shit. And then through the process of me having that transition and learning myself and, you know what I mean, perfecting my craft, I became a new monster. So, you know what I mean? Joe Mac Money was always something that the family called me to turn me up and shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, shit. And your name, your name, up. your name big on the east side. How would you say, uh, like, you got the buzz and, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you how you came to be you and shit, you know? I'm a trench, baby. I'm a heart of the trenches, you feel me? I'm the heart. I'm the heartbeat, you feel me? I keep the blood flowing, you feel me? So, shit. Yeah. I been, I, I been, I been him. I been this, you know what I mean? When a motherfucker first started this shit, you go look back. My old video, it probably still ain't got 10,000 views, but it was... 50 real niggas there with me, you feel me? Yeah. So explain the LBM, uh, like who all a part of it, like, you know, one way, solo key, like, um, just explain LBM and then how it came about, like, your relationship with one way and solo. I was to say, uh, LBM shit, loyalty before millions, you know what I mean? And when a motherfucker ain't hiding, then the motherfucker had each other, you know what I mean? That's something me and Lil Bro put together, you know what I mean? Me and One Way, you know what I mean? We used to share rooms and shit, you know what I mean? You feel me? That's your blood? Hell yeah, that's my little brother, you know what I mean? And Solo is Lil Bro, you know what I mean? Right hand, so shit, that's Lil Bro, you know what I mean? Lil Bro, One Way standing ten toes behind Solo, and I stand ten toes behind One Way, so that's how a motherfucker rockin'. So y'all got that song Federal that hit a million. Oh, uh, say so shit, uh, Federal, them niggas was writing a song go back at my grandma's house. They rapped that shit to me. They wanted me to hop on that bitch and shit. It was here street from there, shit. We went to the studio, I ain't even like my verse and shit. Yeah. They made me drop my shit. And it was on the other street in the studio, you know what I mean? And yeah. Nah, shit, we did our thing. What's some of your um your other biggest songs you feel like? Federal, one of them. What do you feel like you get the most recognition for? Or people like, they come and tell you like, they fuck with this song the most, their video. I don't know, bro. So many, I ain't gonna lie, I got so much music. All my friend, all my fans are different. You know what I mean? All my fans are different. The whole Slap It Out movement, bro. People respect me as a person. People respect my whole catalog, bro. You know what Facts. I mean? People respect me. Yeah. What I stand for. No bullshit. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of that then, like what music you got, you know, that you working on or your projects coming up? I just dropped Return to the Slap last month, you know what I mean? And that's okay. and me coming back to step on their neck, apply pressure like I always been doing, you know what I mean? And shit, you know, me and One Way about to go crazy, you know, everything is on the on the, on our YouTube channel now, so LBM TV, go subscribe to that, that's where all the music at, you know what I mean? Yeah. Motherfucking drop about three, four videos back to back. Got another video coming out tomorrow. I know this interview gonna be kinda, you know what I mean, light on what I'm talking about, but that's the shit we working though, you know what I mean? You see we right here doing this shit right now, so. Yeah. More than just the music, you be on some like business shit, like entrepreneur shit, like you got the clothing line, you got a smoke shop, like shit like different than what other people typically be doing in Milwaukee. So I guess start with the smoke shop, let them just know how that came about. And what even inspired you to do that? Because that's something different. And then we can go about the clothing line and your other stuff after that, though. All right, bet. Like, shit. The smoke shop came about. It, it, I got I got goals, man. I got goals on my list, and I, and I knock them down one by one type shit. And this was something that I was kind of procrastinating on. But shit, you know, 
I, I see everybody around me getting, getting, getting knocked, getting, getting, getting knocked out the way, you know what I mean? All the chessboard pieces getting knocked off the table, you know what I mean? I see everybody telling on everybody and, you know, niggas getting hit with time that ain't even, you know, really for them type shit, you know what I mean? Like, niggas can say anything nowadays. Niggas can lie and say you did some shit. You ain't even did it. And the police can go find you with a, with a firearm and now you, you know what I mean? You got a firearm because you were trying to protect yourself or some shit. Now you charged with some allegations from a police ass nigga. And you out here selling CDs or some, you know what I mean? Oh, some boy, Selling t-shirts and shit like a motherfucker be doing a, all type of legit ways. Niggas get money and nigga can lie on you and say anything nowadays. Niggas don't ever got to have no legit proof. These niggas just telling their way out. Y'all watch Blacklist? You feel me? Raymond Redditon, that's what these niggas doing. No bullshit. They Raymond Redditon out here on the G. These niggas, the CIA, man. No bullshit. They lying and shit, making up shit. T.D. Glaze this bitch.